Hello and welcome to Nine Noir Lives. This game was gifted to me. It's on Steam, and we're gonna check it out. Do normal mode. We're on fire. Is that a fire cannon indoors? Oh. Really isn't safe. Is someone there? Hello, am I yelling loudly enough for you? Oh, much better, thank you. I just, ow, ow, oh, what the? I think I just walked into a wall of spikes. Well, that's hey, not uh, good. Can we get the lights on in here? Look, it's, yeah, it's cute, it's fun. Thanks for this, but you know, time for the, some lights. Much better, thank you. Oh, hey. That was like a tiki bar. Oh, neat. Oh, their name is Spikey. Spikey the Cactus. This is a point-and-click comedy cat game? <laughs> that's as far as... That's like as much as I know so far. Tiki mask. Look at the tiki mask. Obvious, obviously just copied what the voodoo bar did, but why aren't these holding tiny guitars? <laughs> it it, it would have been perfect. Little teeny tiny guitars? Okay, so we use lick. We lick the cactus. It is literally covered in spines, and the client didn't cough up for medical on this case. Okay, so we use... uh. Left click to like do the actions and stuff, and then we use right click to change actions. We have look at, use, and lick. Hello. He 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 Hello. Piece of intellectual copyright infringement. Rude. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hello there, are you the owner? Who's asking? My name is Cuddles Nutter Butter. I'm oh. here to serve you. <laughs> Don't need no Lou waiters. Thanks. Uh, serve you papers? I mean, I'm a private investigator. <laughs> what sort of PI work is delivering papers? Shouldn't you be out investigating? Good question. Yes, well, bit of a dry stretch right now, if I'm honest, and this pays the bills. Happens more than you'd think. Well, show me a badge then. Of course, it's right. Oh, uh, where did it go? Uh, actually, actually, you know what? I forgot. Badges are being discontinued, so don't worry about it, Ms. Ms. None of your business. None of your business. Then I, I have a few questions for you. Oh, okay. There's a lot of fire here. I have been really into point and clicks lately. Uh, I watch a lot of them on YouTube, uh, mostly like little horror point and clicks and all the, some funny like mystery ones. So I think I'm really gonna enjoy this. <laughs> What's with all the fire? There's a whole lot of fire around here. Seems pretty unsafe, especially given you sell quite a lot of alcohol. Oh, you gotta have fire. It's for the ambiance. I do like ambiance. The ambiance of catching on fire. I mean... Customers know the risks. We make it clear when you enter. No, you don't. It's pitch black. There's a whole lot of very loud, unnecessarily dramatic music, and fire keeps exploding everywhere in one wrong step, and your customers will be a cat kebab. See? You know the risks. Proves my points. We didn't know the risks walking in. We almost died from Spikey, the, the friendly cactus. Guitar. Is that right? Maybe. What's it to you? I represent the owners of the Voodoo Bar. Yeah, I'm sure you're familiar. The Voodoo themed bar directly across the street from you. Oh. They feel, and I agree, that you, you copied not only their concept, but, well, everything, basically. Oh, <laughs> yeah? They gotta prove it then, don't they? Ah, oh, I see you are a cat of some legal knowledge. Past experiences, is my guess? Yeah, thing is, from what I've seen of this establishment, it won't be difficult to prove. Do you really want this to go to court? 
You Turn ain't that up got a little nothing bit. on me. Yeah, we'll see. Can you explain the sign you have outside? A sign outside your bar. It says, "We're the voodoo place that don't serve no cursed margaritas." <sighs> Care to explain? Means we don't got no cursed margaritas. Means they have cursed Firstly, margaritas. That hasn't cleared anything up. Secondly, it's slander. It's true. No cursed drinks in here. That's our guarantee. The voodoo, the, the guitar guarantee. Yeah. You obviously just made that up. More to the point, there are no cursed drinks in my client's bar either. What even is a cursed margarita? I don't know, uh, but I want to try it. Lime juice? It's got the souls of the damned. Ms. I Ms. would Ms. like to my try that, yeah. Do not add condemned souls to their drinks, as I think you well know. Spooky. Yeah, but like, how can we be sure? <laughs> they don't have a sign. That's not what that that that, that doesn't even. Well, I, I don't see any guitars in here, so your your whole name is a lie. You clearly ripped off my client's entire concept and just picked a word that rhymes with bar. Guitar is a state of mind, though, isn't it? Uh, the voodoo guitar is totally different from all other voodoo-themed outlets. Yeah, if you ignore all the bits that are identical. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Oh, we are having a full-on conversation with them. Oh, might as well go in order. What I can see in here is a direct copy of the interior of my client's bar, except for your obsession with fire. How do you explain that? They must have come in and taken pictures when I wasn't looking. Oh, those jerks. Just full of answers, aren't you? And, and, and what about us? I'm just about done copying the voodoo boss menu. There, there, there. Right. Someone just said they're duplicating my client's menu. Uh, no, it's uh, rats. It's rats in the walls. Right, rats, right, rats. Well, we can yeah, shut you down no, uh, <laughs> for rats, too. Speak. Uh, Did you remove your mask? You're weird talking to that mask. Can Ma you take it off, please? Yeah, I can't do that. Our clients expect it. It calms them. If you're attracting the sort of clientele for whom that mask is calming, you need to work on your marketing. Listen, this is a tough city, okay? There's cats out there working hard to put food on the table, and they come here to relax, and the mask helps. When they leave, I hear them breathe sighs of relief. <laughs> they're probably just glad they got through another visit here without being set on fire. Hardly anyone has been set on fire at the Voodoo Guitar this month. We got a oh. certificate. Oh, this month. With the certificate. Here's I the papers. Have a cease Just and desist take from them. the voodoo bar. If you don't comply, my clients will see you in court where, inter alia, you will have to sit in some very uncomfortable chairs in a room with too little air conditioning. Oh, I don't like it that. It's not a party. Big words don't impress me. Show me the papers. Oh, fine. I will. Are they going to start them on fire? Take the papers. Now you take the papers. Take the take papers. Take the papers. Now you take the... Okay. I need to think. Don't go anywhere. I do not want to look that back door. That sounds like a bat... Do we not go in there? Look at back door. Goes. What we can... Hello, anyone back here? No. Hello, anyone back here? No. No. Lick the back door. Oh, sure. As if this grubby door frame in a rundown bar is going to taste like some delicious fruit or something. Don't judge our door frames. <laughs> you don't know them. They're imported. Okay. Lick the bar. People sit there. They they sit there with their booties, with their, their butts. With their booty butts, yeah. Is there anything else we can look at? We already looked at the map. There's pictures. Look at the pictures. The most generic pictures imaginable of tropical locales. Uh, what is this? The Voodoo Bar. Another day, another case, my client. The Voodoo Bar has engaged me to deliver a cease and desist to another bar that blatantly copying them. The Voodoo Guitar. See, that's a cool picture of a guitar. They should have had that there. 
At least then they'd have, like, something that goes with a guitar. What is this? Nothing? Oh! Oh, that just takes you straight to the main menu. Take it. Here are the papers. I trust this settles the matter. Have your name changed within the week or we'll see you in court. Well, <laughs> not me. I don't go to court, but someone will. And I bet they'll be mean. What if I say I won't accept the papers? That's not up to you. Here. No, no. I'll give it to Spikey the Cactus. All right, fine. I, you you want to be difficult? I'll give the papers to another employee, like this fine fella right here. He seems reasonable. That ain't an employee. That's a catcus. It says He's hello. Got a name tag though. That'll hold up in court. Hello there, Spikey. You've been oh. served. Oh. Oh damn. Oh. We got him there. I have to come back here to serve more papers to the voodoo mandolin or the voodoo sitar or any other sort of mystical instrument. You'll wish you only had fake rats to worry about. <laughs> Squeak. Squeak? We figured it out. Cactus. Oh. Cactuses. Welcome back, sir. How did it go? Annoying. Oh, fine, fine. You know, served them the papers. Argued about who copied whom. Walked into a huge cat kiss, you know, the usual. <laughs> I did, though, almost get uh, fried by a fire cannon at some point, so that was exciting. <gasps> a fire cannon? Indoors? That's very unsafe. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> Not that they cared, but anyway, it's done. Another citizen in need, helped by Nutter Butter Investigations. Inform the media. Open the champagne. Oh, well. I like the voice acting so I far. I really hope something bigger comes along soon, Tabby. You know, I'm being wasted on these tadpole cases. I tell you, there's a full-sized toad of a case out there somewhere with my name on it. <laughs> I'm sure of it. <laughs> a toad named Cuddles? Well, until that hops along, I have a surprise that should cheer you up. Surprises? I love those. Tabby, man, have I ever told you that your timing is perfect? I could really use a pick-me-up right now. I thought you might. <laughs> uh, it's waiting in your office. Go on in and I'll be there shortly. I'm just expecting a delivery. You're the best, Tabster. Tabster. I know, sir. There's some writing on this. That's some really high grade writing paper. I would have just used a napkin. Oh, but what if I then needed that napkin? <laughs> well played, Professor. Who, what, who, who's, who's Professor? To whom it may concern. I am currently out of the country on a research trip. If you need to contact me, please contact the Dean of the Department of Biology at Florentine University or phone me at this number. Mouse, shell, bell, bunny, bathtub. What? Oh, was it the number and then it was like little emojis? Ooh, coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. Ah, uh, I love the taste of a hot cup of coffee. Oh, well, never mind. We use the pretzels. Or the umbrella? Don't need an umbrizzle tonight. Umbrizzle? My will keep off the drizzle. Okay, I like that. That was... I, I wondered why you called it umbrizzle, and I appreciate that. I like. I liked that. Wait, why did it turn back into a mouse? Tabby is my assistant. She's the only reason I'm still in business. What a nice thing to say without directly addressing me, sir. Oh, so he's saying these out loud. Tabby's desk is so much neater than mine. How does she do it? She ain't gonna address that, though. I wanna know what this little, this little, this little magnifying glass is for. Oh! Where are you hiding, sneaky little surprise? Cuddles is gonna find ya. Are we in the Ooh, penthouse? Find ya. Yes, he is. Well, I'm guessing it's the present. 
Are we in the pet house? A brand new diary recorder, as seen on TV, with up to 12 hours of recording time, two playback speeds, and a waterproof casing. Ooh. <laughs> oh, let's try this out. Dear diary recorder, hi there, I'm Cuddles, your new best friend. First things first, I can't just call you diary recorder, you need a proper name, or people will think I'm really weird for talking to you all the time. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I used to know a good listener named Ramon. Yeah, and he was on television too, like you. So, Ramon, my assistant Tabby has gifted you to me. I'm pretty sure I know why. She suggested the other day that I need to keep better records of my cases. Well, she actually said that real detectives don't just slap sticky notes on everything to remember critical details. I'm not sure I agree. I actually think the sticky yellow notes on everything system was a huge success. Mm, yes. And she went to the effort of buying you for me, so I think we can compromise. I'll record myself with you from now on, and hopefully she'll stop bringing up the time she accidentally ate a sticky note that I put on her sandwich. Cuddles! Sir? Professor Huggy's delivery is here. Uh, I'll, I'll be out in a second. Just, um, grab that was it for loud. me, that's Tabby now. Kind of new, but determined to make a difference. We get along well. Okay, all done. Hello. Enjoying your new diary recorder, sir? I love it. Thanks, Tabster. My pleasure, sir. <laughs> a little okay. Office lunches are safe once more. Yo, whiskers, there goes the phone. Hello? Okay, they're still going. Oh, good evening, Chief. Yes, he just fit. Oh, um, yes, of course. Please hold. Okay, one thing so far. I wish that the voice acting was balanced a little bit more. I get that they did a directional thing so that it goes in one ear depending on what side of the screen they're on. But since it was on the left side of the screen, it got louder since it was only coming from the one direction. If they quieted it down a little bit, then she was in the other room. I think that would have helped because she was really loud. Second, little stupid fact about me, I nickname, I nicknamed my remote Ramon. So whenever I lose it, I have a name to call it by. Stupid, but now you know. You can't forget that. Or you could. I don't know uh, you. The most indispensable element of the detective's toolkit. Use. Sir, I've got the chief of police on the line. He says it's urgent. Oh. He always says that. It was even urgent when they needed an extra person for the interdepartmental volleyball game last week. I got sand in so many places. Ask him to phone that back must tomorrow, suck with Tabby. Fur. Yes, sir, but... You were just saying you wanted bigger cases, right? I think this one might be pretty big. He, uh, he said cucumber. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Language, Tabby. <sighs> Whiskers, I I've never heard him curse before. Something must be up. All right, I guess I'd better take this. Is it cucumber After because cats are sir. scared of cucumbers because they look like snakes? Hello. Evening, Chief. How's things at Police HQ tonight? Bad, in fact. We've got a real cucumber of a situation on our hands. That's some pretty strong language, Jason. How can I help? I just got word of a situation downtown. There's been some sort of disturbance at the Nitty Kitty Club. Not clear yet Nitty what Kitty. happened exactly. I need you to get down there and investigate. The Nitty Kitty Club? That name rings a bell. Isn't it owned by a mob boss or something? Not a mob boss, the mob boss. Bartholomew Montemu, arguably the most powerful mm -hmm. criminal Mew, in Mew. the city. Cute. It's, uh, it's his sleazy castle, and we suspect. A place where his piles of dirty money get cleaned. Ooh, sleazy money. My favorite. If I find any of those piles, can I keep them? Always the comedian, Nutter Butter. You should be more worried about leaving oh, look at that with face. both legs unbroken. Oh. oh. You know what happened? Any additional details on what actually happened? One of my guys caught wind of something over the tapped phone, but it was on 
clear. Whatever it was, it's got Montemue in a tears. I got a call right after saying Bartholomew has booked a flight home from a holiday trip overseas. We've got a very small window of time before he lands and probably kicks us all out. My guys have bullied their way in for now. That's where you come in, Nutter Butter. I told my officers to play it very cool. I do not want to kick off a war with the Montemuse. You're a neutral party. You can go places and ask questions we can. Got it? Yes, sir. I'm just imagining Muse, like from Pokemon, just a bunch of mob boss Muse with little hats. Maybe a gun or something. Don't want to mess with them. If it's such a tense situation, why get involved at all? If someone's making trouble for mobsters, I say, let them at it. Not a butter. Don't make me regret calling you second about this. Second? Who did Not you even call first? first? Wait, was it that hack Alfonso? You know he lost his own car keys for nine months once, right? Oh, he couldn't solve a case if the perp was tied to his collar. Pay attention, Nutter Butter. I called you because your success rate is actually pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty I good. Not that if asked by anyone else. You hear? And uh, because Alfonso is out of the country. I knew it. Focus. Whatever's going down at the Nitty Kitty, chances are it involves a rival mob. If we're really unlucky, it's the Capulets. That's why my people are. Is that like the Capulets? Length on this. They'll help as much as Is that they what can. It, from Romeo and Juliet? They're Sorry, I'll shut up. On your own. The repercussions of the police picking a side in what might be the opening salvo of a mob war. Well, I'd rather not think about it. It probably involves declawing machines and barrels of acid. If it comes to that, I'd rather it be you than one of my guys. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure you understand. Thanks. Oh, the chief, that's so... Actually, that's pretty awful. Did you... Did you say declawing machine? Well, I'll fax over the documents. I need you on this, Nutter Butter. Don't let me down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I mean, how many paws are we talking about here? Like, how many paws are they going through to need a machine to... Do they keep them? Is... Is there a room somewhere just filled with claws? Uh, good night, Cuddles. Good night. Uh, good night, Chief. Well? We've got ourselves a big one, Tabby. Safety of the city, lives in the balance sort of thing. Cancel my appointments and get yourself plenty of coffee. I have a feeling it's going to be a busy night. I'm going to head straight to the decline club to see what we've got. The, the what? Oh, did I say decline club? Ha ha ha. That's certainly not preying on my mind or anything. <laughs> I meant the Nitty Kitty Club. Well, we don't take midnight appointments, so nothing to cancel there. And I'm already ahead of you with the coffee. But did you say the Nitty Kitty Club? Where all the criminals hang out? Not all of them, Tabby. I'm sure some hang out in dark alleyways and large empty warehouses down at the docks and such. It doesn't matter. This is really going to put me, er, us, <laughs> on the map. We'll be big time in no time. Oh, yes, that's very exciting, sir. But those mobsters, from what I've read in the news, they're real mean. Keep an eye on your back out there, all right? I don't want to see your face on the television tomorrow under the title Missing, Presumed, Chopped Up, and Thrown into the River. You'd better be standing right that. here in front of me. Don't worry, Tabs. I'll be sure to come back in one piece. We both know this place wouldn't be the same without me. Well, true, but that's not quite what I meant. You've forgotten to pay me this week. Oh. Again. But I just realized you don't need all your limbs to sign a check. Ask the nice scary mobsters to go for the legs first, will ya? Ah, oh, Whiskers. I'm, I'm really sorry, Tabster. I promise this is the last time. Uh, my new buddy here, uh, Ramon, <laughs> he's gonna make sure I don't forget things anymore. Say hi, Ramon. Hi, Ramon. <laughs> hi, Ramon. Uh, hi. Oh, you named the recorder. <laughs> well, 
As long as it works. All right. So that was a lot. What do we? What do we got to do? Couch? We gonna sleep on the couch? I bet if I was like three hundred times stronger, I could lift this entire thing. I don't think any gym in the whole world could achieve that, though. <laughs> three hundred times stronger. Oh. Flowers. They look beautiful just where they are, I'd say. No need to move them. Okay. It's written very academically. Puts me to sleep in minutes. Nice. Yeah, still no fun at all. Was this one standing in one spot in total silence for hours? I knew our pies. Easy, easy recipes for busy entrepreneur. If you enjoyed this book, try the prequel. Eight great plates of dates. It's like a bunch of dates. Well, how about that? You can hear better when you press something hollow against the surface. I'm pretty <clears throat> confident I don't need this anymore. Oh, well, that's good. I should tell that one to Tabby. What's this one? The Tiger Strike. Discover the big cat inside your little cat. Max full power snarled as he fired all 16 barrels of his quad blasters into the alien's sole remaining face. Oh my goodness. Max is so cool. Yarn Breaker, Life Taker, a Max full power novel? I wouldn't tell that this was actually from that. Just having yarn on it. Don't think, just drink. Getting drunk on a budget. Never know when you might need a recipe book. Oh, oh, we took it. Okay. Lick it. The orange bits feel like faux fur. Wait, we actually licked it? Okay, well, not. <laughs> let's not do that again. I like books. They don't commit felonies. They don't force you to chase them when you ask questions, and they don't claw and hiss at you in interrogations. Plus, they look nice. They do look nice, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What are we doing? A long day. Oh, we have to head down there. I thought we were waiting till the morning for that for some reason. Okay. Let's go down to... The Nitty Kitty. Ooh. I like the art style. It's very pretty. And the, uh... I was gonna say lip syncing. Voice syncing? Same difference, I guess. Looks very, uh... Citizen! Nice, mice, Please mice, do mice. not approach any closer! <laughs> this is a crime scene! That means you, Cuddles. There he stood, like a fat, round traffic cone, heedlessly impeding everyone's normal flow. Kowski. <laughs> when cops talk about throwing the book at someone, it's his book they mean. He knew all the rules, every single one. Whiskers, he probably invented half of them, and he'd make sure they were followed to the letter, or else you'd never hear the end of it. I bet if I pulled on this, the entire thing will unravel and the whole town will be drowned in a flood of yarn. Or maybe not. Oh, it's a possibility. Scratch dancing? Oh, scratch That's pole not dancing? That's sort of thing. Mice, mice? Mice, mice, mice? So many mice. I'd better not try. Krakowski might not look it, but he's scary when he's mad. Wouldn't want to get on his bad side. Not that he even has a good one. I'd best convince him to let me through first. Okay, we have to convince... Well, well, I want to go to the alley... Parking. I want to go to the alleyway first. See what's up over here. Lappy in... Geronimo? Gotta get my paws dirty if I hope to get anywhere. Are we getting that banana peel? Oh! A bag full of gears? 
That doesn't look like trash. I'll grab that. And an old shoe with a name on it. Larry. Oh, dear. Larry lost his boot. Uh, maybe I can return it to him. Second worst time I've fallen into trash. Wait. No, yeah. Second. Okay, so this happens a lot. I want to know what the first time was. I'm all good on Brandy right now. Billy's still half full. Billy? Not right now. Maybe later when I have something to insert here. Thorn. Pastotron? That didn't do anything. Okay, so we need something to go inside of it first, obviously. Pumpkin! Wait, what? Flaccid levitating pumpkin? What does that mean? Oh, is that the name of the band? The Crying Gerbil presents Flaccid Levitating Pumpkin Live, playing tracks from their debut album, West of Forever and also Upside Down, featuring Grimstunk Hagfederer on vocals. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so how does a pumpkin get flaccid? These are the questions I need to know. I avoid that part of town if I can. They're so aggressive about upselling furniture to you. Okay. Don't need any furniture, so it's probably good to avoid over there. Else. Okay, wait. Do I... There we go. All right. Let us in. Hey, Richard, what's the sit rep? Firstly, as I am on duty, I require you to drop the informalities. Please refer to me as Detective Krakowski. Secondly, sitrep is a law enforcement term, Cuddles. You are not authorized to employ it. The situation is that I've been assigned to guard the premises. Now please step back or I will be forced to make you step back. With force. Forcibly. With force, forcibly. That's not good. I'm here on official I'm business. Here on business, actually. The chief called me in himself. So if you'll just let me pass, I'll get out of your fur, and we can both get on with our jobs. Not so fast. Do you have a PI badge and a permit? Without those two things, you won't take a single step further. Badge? Permit? Are you being serious? Krakowski, you know who I am. I've been at like 10 crime scenes with you before. You hit me right in the face with a volleyball last oh, week. Really hurt. Don't try and cozy up to me, Cuddles. Rules are rules. Nobody goes inside without a private investigator badge and an official permit P54851. I am an officer of the law. If I do not follow the rules, then the very fabric of society would collapse. The entire city would be plunged into a nightmare of crime from which we might never escape. So, it's my duty to be the moral backbone of this city. Therefore, I'll ask you again. Do you have the correct items? Yes. I mean, no. Well, okay, so don't say no uh, immediately. No paperwork, no entry, Cuddles. I left them at the office, all right? I was a bit distracted by something the chief said about declawing machines. But come on, don't be such a stick in the mud, Krakowski. We're friends, right? Good acquaintances, maybe? Distant he does, he doesn't. Look, he, look, he looks like he hates everyone. You Let's be honest here. Cuddles, this means that I'm on duty. I am not your familiar acquaintance when I'm on duty. I am the only bastion against the forces of darkness seeking crazy to eyes. overwhelm this city with their, their darkness. And you see that lack of badge on you? That means you're currently just a civilian impeding the enforcement of justice. Move along, citizen. Okay, well, we're just gonna leave and Bye, snob cop. Kowski. I'm keeping. Okay. Let's just go back to the office, see if there's like a badge or something we can pick up. Back so soon? Did the villains hear you were on the case and instantly hand themselves in? 
<laughs> the sass. You know what isn't funny? Officer Krakowski? The sourpuss wouldn't let me into the crime scene. He's just doing his job. You know how much he loves the pageantry of it all. Yeah, well, he could take a day off now and then. He's seen me countless times before. I shouldn't need to prove anything with a stupid badge. Oh, you forgot your private investigator badge again, didn't you? That's the third time this week. I'll just true. keep it in Only our coat. the second. Uh-huh. Uh, what about Monday? I had to go down to the police station myself to hand in those papers when they wouldn't let you file them due to lack of identification. Uh, all right, three times. Four if you count the time you came back for it, then left again after forgetting why you were here. It's <laughs> a very forgettable item, all right? Oh, there's a little mouse hole down here. Okay, so... Would it just be on our desk? Desk. desk. The nerve center of the operation. De desk. Scratch marks? Don't lick doodling the doodle book. Helps me concentrate when I've got a particularly tricky problem to solve. Oh, never mind. Those are actual, like... They don't use numbers. They use symbols. Oh, my half-brother Matrick and I. He's a good wolf, if a little flighty. Loves dashing off to strange countries to go exploring. So tall. Ow. Um. Sure. Doodly eyes! Doodly eyes? Googly eyes! Don't lick it. Light of my life. Fire of my throat. I'm no alcoholic, but a small glass of brandy in the evenings sure help for me round out the day. Fair enough. What is this? That's the paper I scribble down takeout numbers on for those long nights. Hmm. Take out. That's obviously a gun box. Like it. I'll just lick the outside. Well, that doesn't count as a drink, right? Mm, stained with the grease of 10,000 cheap meals. <gasps> delicious, delicious grease. Okay, so he's legit licking it. Good for him. Tabby can keep her fancy filing system. This is how a real detective makes his notes. Notepad and typewriter. What more could you need? Mm, well, now that I think about it, it's quite a lot, actually. Lift the headset, then dial. I don't like to brag, but I'm pretty sure I've mastered that. Let's... I love napping on that thing, but I, I, I always have the weirdest dreams. It's too heavy to... Hmm, nothing on at the moment. That's weird. Uh, Am I, like, missing something? Here we go. This could come in here. Because I only looked it's at it at first. No Be strong, Cuddles. Billy. Wait, is its name Billy? That's cute. I, I think we I just looked at it. To start Wait, note here. Wait, vest detective. Oh, cuddles. Oh, cuddles. I used to have a picture of my mother in this frame instead of Matrick and I, but well, 
I love you, Mom, but it was weird having you staring at me all day. Okay, maybe it's in the other room? There's not... Look, I get excited. I can't be expected to keep track of a little badge when my mind is in overdrive, forming plans to foil criminals. Safe that you have any idea where I left it? Knowing you, it's probably in your office somewhere. Krakowski is just doing there. his job, you know. Same as you. Don't let it frazzle your whiskers. They're not frazzled. Just uh, singed. You know, Krakowski also mentioned a permit. Uh, is that even a real thing, or is he just pulling my tail? It is for some cases. Did the chief mention one? Uh, he I, did I think not. so. I was a little distracted by the... Oh, he did? ...clawing comments. Hmm. Edna hasn't sent it yet, then. I'll just give her a call and check. Oh, I can do that. Edna and I get along really well. Oh, we're gonna have to use Are the you phone. certain? Edna Honeybottom, the secretary at the police station. With the big hair? That's her. We've got this cute thing we do where we, we dance around the fact that we'd be kind of great together. You and... <laughs> wow. That's quite an image. But if you insist, sir, the number is Bird, Snowflake, Mouse, Bell, Shell. Got it. Shell, uh, Bell, Well, Dog. No, no, sir. Okay, she wrote it down. I was trying to... <laughs> trying to keep track of it and then he started like naming stuff and I was like oh no this is messing me up I don't know where that badge is I think of a badge I think of a little tiny thing from Ace Attorney that they just always that Phoenix Wright just carries around with him all the time Lift the headset, then lift the head. I want use. If I stick the if I stick the number to that, I'll probably just forget I even have it. I... If I stick if I stick But I want to stick it somewhere. Okay, let's try. Okay, can we look at can, like what is that? Something snowflake. Is it the little people? Like mouse. Oh. The number you have dialed. Oops. Okay. Eh. 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 Hello? Hey, we Edna, did it. it's me, Cuddles. How are you? Horrible. Oh. Oh, no, uh, what happened? You phoned me. I mean, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> Good one. So listen, I'm following up on some documents I need for a case. The one at the Nitty Kitty Club. I need them to get in. Krakowski's being Krakowski, and you know how he is. Irritating and tiresome? Yes, yes, exactly. I meant you. Oh. <laughs> you got me again. So, can you fax the papers through? No, I do all my faxing in the morning. Oh. Uh, well, damn. I, I kind of really need them now. Kr Krukowski won't let me into the crime scene without them, and the chief said it's a really important case. So. Fine. Thank you, Edna. Oh, that's good. Whatever. We didn't have to talk him into I it. Catch them up, friends, you pay. I need to talk to you. Okay, so that's being faxed over. Where do we find our badge? Is it on the shelf? I didn't think I seen it on the shelf, but it could be on the shelf. They look beautiful, just Okay. Cushion. Hey, am 
my detective badge is under this cushion. We found it. We detected. How'd you end up there, you sneaky little thing? <laughs> Back into my pocket with you. Noise. Is there anything under this I one? Bet. Oh, never mind. Okay, so do... Oh, it's right here. Yoink! That takes care of the permit. I guess I don't need this posted anymore. Nope. Do we need coffee? I'm sure one more cup won't hurt. <laughs> Is that 10 or 15 today? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to have to use that note on the door at some point. Show me your badge. Shove it in his face. I found the things you wanted. It was really hard. I hope you're grateful. Hmm, well, he's both seemed to check out. Pleased to meet you, P.I. Nutabutter. Oh, he's just being I a dick now. I actually expected you a while ago. What with the severity of the situation? I hate him. What? I was, I, just, I stood just... <sighs> Krakowski, I swear. The corpse is cooling, Cuddles. The crime scene awaits you. Ah, at least I can get to work. Now that you'll actually let me? The law thanks you. Ugh. The law is Ugh. a no. what, citizen? Uh, lovely. The law is, uh, lovely. Ha-ha! <laughs> Delighted to hear it. Oh, and uh, one more thing, Cuddles. I'll be keeping that permit. Don't want you <laughs> persuading your way into any other places you shouldn't be now, do we? Okay, bye. Ramon, I'm in. The club looks deserted, though. The only patrons in here tonight are wearing blue and carrying guns. What about that person on the Cuddles. right? Cuddles, finally. Where have you been? I've been waiting here for ages. A huge oil tanker of a police cat hovered near the entranceway, his eyes darting between the door and an even larger so cat grumpy. standing behind the bar. <laughs> as soon as he saw me, his shoulders sagged in relief, and he hurried over, his voice unnecessarily loud. Okay, so he's nice. Unlike the one outside. I think if I make eye contact with that bar cat one more time, he might try to eat me. Sorry, detective. You can ask the nitpicky officer guarding the door why I'm late. He didn't want to let me in. Oh, yes? <laughs> Out of spite, no doubt. I'm sure you didn't, uh, say, you know, forget your badge again. He obviously knows who I am by now. He's just choosing to be annoying. This isn't just another case, Cuddles. We're on a Montemue home turf. And badges are not. That puts us on the back paw. Krakowski and I are here because we thought we might catch the Montemuse doing something that they would, you know, would let us lock a couple of them up. But it's worse than that. Much worse. Oh, no. Edgar Montemue, Bartholomew's son, is dead. Ooh. Moitered. Moitered. Oh, cucumbers. Well, not only that, but that starlet, Miss Kitty, has mysteriously and coincidentally vanished. Mystery and coincidence. Huh. In my experience, you only get to pick one. So what happened exactly? All I know is so far is that Tinkle the Barcat? He, you can't miss him. He, he looks like uh, someone stuck legs and arms into a mountain. He opened the club up for the evening, as usual, and found the body. Needless to say, it wasn't there when he closed the night before. And you guys heard about it through the tapped phone when he called his boss. Well, I heard something. It's a low quality tap. The chief saw an opportunity and we headed right over. As soon as I got in, though, I realized it was way worse than we expected. And I called the chief on the house phone. He told me to do nothing and wait for a P.I. And here really? I am. At last. Police department doesn't have any, like, detectives with them. It's only private detectives. Private investigators. Where's the body? Where's the body? It's on the other side of the room, near the stage. I'll show you when we're done yakking. Have you finished a preliminary investigation? Yeah. Dead mobsters, kid. Oh, terribly sad. End of story. That's it? 
As soon as I learned who it was, I gave the chief a call. He said he'd send a P.I. I was expecting Alfonso. That hack? But you'll do. Oh, God. Gee, thanks. Couldn't you uh, at least get all the staff together? Start asking some questions? Listen carefully, Cuddles. Right now, this is a mess. And that's what I want it to stay. A mess. Not a mob. Why? Not with dead cats turning up in the river every morning and police being attacked in the streets. The chief told me to be paws off. And I'm happy to comply. So, no. I didn't assemble the staff. Don my monocle, point at things with my cane while yelling, Aha! Uh -huh, the uh -huh. telltale mark of the count to guilty. I left that for you. You're being awfully callous tonight, detective. A cat is dead. No, Cuddles. A Montemue is dead. <laughs> There's a big difference. You don't know them like I do. Montemues are rotten and dangerous. I've seen firsthand the trouble they can cause in this city. One less of them around doesn't bother me. Perhaps he wasn't a good cat, but I still don't think he deserved to be murdered. There's that immutable sense of justice of yours again. I respect you, Cuddles. But you have to learn when to say he had it coming, especially in this city. In any case, the investigation is in your paws now. Krakowski and I are here until we get the crime scene photos for documentation. And then we're heading right back to HQ. I okay, so it's all on me. Some promises are easier to make before you realize how deep the muck goes, Cuddles. But thanks. Okay, there's a lot of talking, so I can't, I'm not really saying much, but... Gotta hear the All story. Right. Time to see the unpleasantness. Follow me. And holster your tongue, please. Hilarious. You know, if I ever find out who started the rumor that I lick everything, I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind. I don't know, we sure already started licking a bunch of things. Lick their face repeatedly? You dirty licker. Oh, wow. That doesn't sound like nice words to say to me. Tinkle? The cat's name is Tinkle? Bad kitty. Do not touch peanuts. Boss Cat's club is business, not charity. Well, then why have them out? What if I lick them? Kitty, no peanut tonight. <laughs> No peanuts. Same. That is one giant footprint. Whoa! I won't be able to get an imprint on this soft carpet. Maybe it'll turn out to be important. I bet. Okay, we got a cut. It's not my size. Oh! Just right over here? Hi! Step away from the body, Cuddles. I can't let you anywhere near it for the time being. We need a photographer to capture the scene, just in case the Monomuse accuse us of anything. Okay. Gosh, he's so young. He barely looks older than me. Yeah, well, he didn't stand a chance with a mobster for a father. Why can't I investigate the body? I'm here, you're here, it'll be done in no time. We can't take shortcuts tonight, Cuddles. You need to wait for the crime scene photographer to get here. How long will that take? As long as it takes. Not helpful, Fuzzball. What if I draw a really accurate diagram uh, uh, on a napkin? <laughs> Won't that look good in court? Why, yes, Your Honor. I have the crime scene picture right here. As you can see, the butternut-shaped blob with seven <laughs> limbs representing the moita victim is just next to the stage. Please ignore the ketchup stain, and that's not representative of anything. The answer is no, Cuddles. You can defile the body as much as you want once we have photos. Well, don't say it like but that. Then, defile I don't the body. To touch even a hair. You got it? You used to be cool, Samuel. Yeah, I used to weigh half as much. Times change, Cuddles. Feel free to interview the staff and look around the place. 
Oh, okay. Never mind. We're not. Uh, here. I'm not that familiar with the Montemus. Is there like a file or something I could read? No need. I can fill you in. You said he was the son of a mobster, right? Yep. This is Edgar Montemu, son of Bartholomew, the head of the Montemu crime. So many family. Muse. This is their home base. Whiskers murdered in his father's own club. If there's anywhere you'd have expected him to be safe, was he involved in the same stuff as his father? More than likely, yeah. Well, they are a crime family, not a crime father. Chances are he knew all about it and was up to his ears in the thick of it. Any idea how he died? He got hit real hard. By a car? You really must tell me more about club? your process sometime, detective. Your insights are remarkable. Yeah, yeah. Look, I told you, Chief said to stay at pause length on this. The last thing we want is the Montemus getting edgy about police. And nothing is gonna make them edgier than me poking the body. I took a basic look at the scene, and it's clear he was bludgeoned to death. No obvious moiter weapon nearby, Moyer. so it's anyone's guess right now how it happened. Did Edgar have any known enemies? I wish I could tell you. I know which brand of Furios Bartholomew likes for breakfast. Furios? Like oh, like Cheerios? Isn't even Why are they furry? Long. He's not cropped up on our radar much. The chief mentioned the Catulets. Uh, could they be responsible? I mean, rival crime family and all? Maybe, but why? Starting a mob war now. Wait, is it a Romeo and Juliet? Best interest. The city's calm. This isn't Capulets and Montagues. The Montagues haven't given any indication they were planning to make a power play. Things are good right now. If you're a criminal. Like, it has to be, right? I'm get, I, I think I'm getting those right. Those names right. Missing performer? You mentioned a performer who's missing. Yep. Platy Cremiston. Stage name, Miss Desiree Kitty. She was performing early this morning. Well, according to Mount Orange over there at the bar. But didn't show up for work when the club opened. Or since. So that's pretty suspicious. Did she love him? Uh, when last was she seen? Uh, she finished her act early this morning, walked off stage to her dressing room, and that was it. Nobody saw her leaving, but that doesn't mean much. Barcat said she often stays late. Forms? What sorts of performances does she do here? Recitals? <laughs> she bakes cookies and organizes the nightly raffle, Kettles. What do you think an attractive cat does in a place like this? I... Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> Have you looked around for her at all? Nope. I left all the fun tasks for you, bestest buddy. Start with her dressing room. Maybe she left some indication of where she went. Got anything new on Edgar? Oh, well, let me check. How you feeling there, buddy? Still dead. Okay, we're good. I... Got an elevator. Go backstage. Check on the room first. There's a there's a note there. This door's a lock punch. Seems like Miss Kitty punched in, but not out. Disappeared. Wait, I seen it. Here's. There's a note on here. Desiree, stop borrowing my feather boas and Boring. get your own. Oh, Kitty has claws. Something glittered over here. Cause I think it did. This. Ah! Parking. I mean, I would look incredible in that red number, but it doesn't look to be my size. We're not, we're not gonna lick the wardrobe. It's enough outfits to put on a school play, as long as the theme was overdressing. 
I want to look at the spark, sparky thing. Note on the ground over here, too. Over there. Okay, well, I, I don't see anything in here, so let's talk to the guy at the bar. 